Hey guys, I thought this would be a really fun quick video to do. It's just something I had an idea of. I'm sure I'm not the first person to do it, but I'm gonna do five new-ish popular releases that I am just super not interested in, like in the slightest. So I'm just gonna get right into this. The first one that I have on the list is Priory of the Orange Tree, and I have been getting into more fantasy lately, but based on like i feel like some people absolutely adore this book it's like their favorite book of all time they just think it's absolutely amazing but from what i have read and from what i have heard and some of the more like negative reviews this is just one that i think i'm gonna stay away from it sounds like something i might find incredibly boring and i just like the whole kind of plot just doesn't get my party going if that makes sense it's just something that's super uninteresting to me so I think I'm gonna leave Priory of the Orange Tree and just pass on that one. The next two are ones that I don't think I want to read and they're for pretty much the same reason. So I have Daisy Jones and the Six. I know. I know. And then I have On the Come Up. And these are two books. Here's the thing. I love memoirs and biographies when they're nonfiction, but I really I'm not interested in like someone's fake rise to fame, if that makes sense. Like I don't think I care enough about them to care if they make it to fame or whatnot. Like I just, it's just not something that like makes me excited. I did try reading, I think it's called Stories We Could Tell by, oh man, by Tony Parsons. And I have another one of his books up there, so I was like looking for his name, um, by Tony Parsons. And I tried to read that a couple of different times and I couldn't get into it. And I can't remember if that one was about a journalist or about a band or about a journalist and a band. I really can't remember, but it, obviously it was so forgettable. I don't remember, but I do remember really disliking it. And I like Tony Parsons. I have at least four, I think, of his books that I did really enjoy. And that one I just really didn't. And I think it was just because I didn't really care about the story. And I kind of feel the same way about Daisy Jones and the Six and On the Come Up. I just am not interested in fake characters rise to fame. It just like doesn't get me going. The next is Again But Better. And I know this sounds really bad, but everything I've read about this book sounds really stupid to me. And I think Christine is sweet and I watch her videos on occasion, but this, the book itself, I feel like it has a huge fan base and it's well-deserved, but I don't think I am one of those people. I don't read a lot of contemporary anyway, but the whole kind of plot line of getting to do college again because you did it wrong the first time, but the reason you did it wrong the first time was because you like didn't have romance and like I don't know how much partying she did. I'm assuming that's not part of it. But like from what it sounds like is she studied too hard. And I'm like, well, that's what you're supposed to do. Like the other stuff is like a good experience. I'm sure I never went to college. Maybe that's the other reason why I'm super uninterested. I feel like one, I'm a little bit too old to really love it. But two, I also never went to college. So I don't have like a nostalgia for the experience anyway. Like I got married when I was 20. And I, I, I was gonna go to college, but then I wanted to go for photography, which I could do freelance without going to school. So I just like, I don't think I'm interested in that particular story. And the thing is, I feel like these books on this list are books that I would probably hate read. And if I think I'm gonna dislike it, I don't wanna go into it on purpose hating something. Cause I don't think that's fair to the author. Like if I think I'm not gonna like it, then I don't really want to do that to the author because clearly I'm not the right audience. Anyway, the last book that I have on the list, and this is another really popular book, and that's Sadie. And everyone says that Sadie is so incredible, but the issue that I have with Sadie, and it's a mini spoiler for Bull, for Bull Mountain, but I, it's not a popular book, so I'm sure that nobody cares, but Bull Mountain is very much a revenge plot kind of a deal. And Sadie, as far as I know, is also very much focused on revenge. Like, as far as I know, it's about a girl who's murdered and then her sister goes after her killer, I think. And it, it sounds interesting and it sounds like it's interest, like an interesting way that they've set it up. 
but I really don't like revenge. Like, it's just my heart doesn't believe in revenge. And so, like, I can understand if it's in, like, a fantasy book or if it's in, like, a not real life book, but books like this that are meant, I think, to feel like real people, I would never condone revenge as a viable option. I don't think that revenge equates to justice. And some of you may disagree with that, but that's just how my heart feels about it. And so I feel like if I was to read Sadie, I would really, really dislike the sister who's trying to like avenge her sister or whatever the thing is. And I mean, if you think that it it's set up in a way that I would still like it, totally comment down below, let me know. But I just have a feeling that I really wouldn't enjoy that plot and so I've kind of stayed away from Sadie. So anyway, those are five new-ish, super popular kind of reads that I'm just super not interested in getting to. Let me know down below, are there any really popular books that just haven't interested you in the least? Like let me know down below and why and what you think and I always find that kind of stuff to be super interesting. I will talk to you guys all soon. I upload most Mondays and Thursdays. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to join the community, the coffee community. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any future notifications and I will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks so much. Bye.